And as the Final Fantasy VII intro music kicks in, very, very nice. Did not notice that before. Good, nicely spotted by Manatee. Okay, I have changed my party quite a bit. Um, very much the same that it was before, except now Bards is on the Elfin Bow. Very nice. Uh, he can attack from the back row, and he'll occasionally use the ability that I am looking for him to use, which is also very nice. Raina is still a Lancer, still without a Lance, even though Lancette is not good enough for that. Uh, really, I'm not a big fan of the Lancer here, but I'll at least get that level up for it. Uh, Ferris is back on the Blue Mage uh, with the Regal Cutlass. Um, and Krill is, well, still the same, as you might expect. I still need a white mage from time to time. All right, I think we are ready to go. I am rich now, though, so I did buy uh, quite a bit of items. Uh, pretty much got everything up to 10, except for Phoenix Downs and uh, Cottages, which I put up to 15. Elixirs I'm still hesitant to use, even against a very, very tough enemy, to be honest with you. Uh, but we were able to uh, somewhat cheap out the enemy which is why we were able to take him on so early, but we are ready to move on now. We are ready to go to the actual plot destination today. Very nice. It's been a long time since we've seen plot. Uh, we need to head left in order to get there, and it's quite a journey left. So let me reiterate once again, did not expect to beat the turtle. Um, I had been trying for probably too long. Um, I think over an hour now. I was trying to kill that douche. That guy sucks. Alright, so we have encountered the barrier tower, uh, and here's the, where the other one used to be before we destroyed it. You cannot land on uh, brown. Uh, I believe those are supposed to be swamps. You can't land there. You have to land here and walk your way over to X Death's castle, where everything goes to hell very, very quickly. Yes, he's up top. It's like we were all powerless. Let's give him one for us. I bet he is. I bet he fucking is. You know I took on a turtle though, right? Yeah. Bow down before me. I'm so mad. I'm sure you are. Uh, if In case you were curious or in case you missed before, the uh, healing spring and the save point here, they're still here. They're still there for, for your use whenever you need it. But we are ready to go up here. Now we're on the second floor. This place is pretty straightforward, except for a few secret areas. And I do believe there are new enemies around here. There are blind wolves. Did not use the ability I was looking for. Still not enough for the win, either. Um, pretty basic setup the way that I need to go here. Actually, I need to move Ferris up front, don't I? Ferris is pretty much going to be a melee fighter for most of this. I do have ethers. I don't like using them, though. Uh, so I will need to move uh, Ferris up after this battle. Actually, I could probably do it this battle because I'm really not doing that much. Tusk! That is no good! It casts Blind! Um, which sucks. When you cast that on Bart's, uh, it actually negates the, uh, the aim command. He can no longer use that command when he's blinded. That, it makes sense, but it feels kind of cheap. Nonetheless, all right, let's move Ferris up. And I'll try to remember that after this battle, I want to move Ferris up in, in, in the menu as well. Now, Bart, hopefully, with the bow, he can occasionally use an ability. Still not using it, though. Still not using it. These blind wolves are not that difficult, uh, which begs the question why... Um, really, why everything... Where are my head drops? That's right, they're down here. Why those crystals were so damn tough? Uh, really, I still don't know why those crystals were so damn tough. Maybe to give you prep for the gill turtle, but once again, the gill turtle could have, you could have gone there before. It was entirely possible for you to go see him a long time ago. I waited more or less until the last possible moment before I went to see him because I knew how difficult he was gonna be and I wanted to give myself the best shot to beat him. But these blind wolves, they are nothing. After the crystals and the turtle, I can just use the staff to victory. The staff, it's, it's one of my favorite things in this game. And I don't care if Krill gets blinded. You can blind her all day. I do love on her sprite, though, if you notice uh, that the glasses are too high. <laughs> because she's shorter than everybody else, and they just didn't bother changing the status for that. The, the, the little sprite for the status effect. I love that. 
1815 guild, 625 experience for ability points. Uh, we are getting very, very close to Ferris getting that next level up in uh, Blue Mage. I believe that will be the last level up, actually, as we get an eyedrop out of that. <laughs> nice. I will use that. Hold on for one second. Now Ferris is in the front row where she should be. Damn, I just wanted what was in the treasure chest. Do we have more new enemies today? We don't. What is in this treasure chest? We get an ether out of there. Very nice. We also can get a diamond shield out of that one. Do we have more? I know there's more enemies than just the blind wolves around here. There we go. We have quite a few of them. We have twin lizards and we have an A rage. Now an A rage is a very nice as a very good enemy if you have um, the Dancing Dirk or you know, some sort of means of confusing the enemy or controlling the enemy, this guy has a lot of abilities that you do want for blue magic. The most important of which is probably White Wind. Uh, there have been a couple times that I've played this game uh, where uh, I, I confused him. Uh oh. Uh, you would think that the the lizard's turn around would do something. I think it just does more damage when he attacks with the with the lower bigger head. It looks bigger from this angle. Um, there have been many times when I was playing this game that the A rage would get confused and then cast White Wind on us, and therefore we would learn it that way. Uh, White Wind is a blue magic that pretty much um, that pretty much is a cure three. It, so it becomes like a secondary white mage if you have the blue mage on, on hand. Uh, very nice ability. Uh, costs pretty much the same amount of H or, or sorry of MP and pretty much heals them at the same amount of HP. So it's pretty equivalent there uh, on both respects. It's you know, pretty much the same thing. It's like having a secondary white mage casting Cure 3. Cure 3 right now is more than enough if I heal if I use it on everybody it's pretty much a full heal almost guaranteed unless everybody is you know down to like single digits then it won't be a full heal but the a rage if I can confuse it I think oh I don't think anybody has the dancing dirk anymore so that's not gonna be a possibility for me because I have too much money this time uh oh that's right the bunny also casts a rise which is not fun but for that value, you get 1,449 gil, 672 experience, and 3 ability points. Not enough for Ferris to get that level up. I think the next battle should be enough. Uh, in this tower, you tend to get a lot of ability points. I believe like 3 to 6 uh, for every battle that you come across. Let's head up to the next floor, though. And up here, we can go to what seemed like a dead end. I'm not sure, though. Just more twin lizards. And as a result of that battle, Ferris did get that level up for Blue Mage, which mastered the class, which is why there is stars. Well, there are stars over the Blue Mage here. Uh, level 4 is master for Blue Mage, uh, which gives the ability, and I have no idea why it is this high, uh, which gives the ability view. Um, you can see enemies level, HP, weakness, and their condition. Um, I don't get it, to be honest with you. In other games, that's that's known as the scan spell. That is usually a white magic. Do we have it? Yeah, scan. There we go. So I, I really don't know why uh, that is considered so, um, so valuable. Maybe uh, scan doesn't do as much as view does, but still. I, I am not a fan of it. Uh, I also, since Ferris is a chemist, Ferris can now equip the healing staff, which, <laughs> there we go, which I want to keep on at all times, which gives Krill the ability to change job class over to, I know you, you can't see here because it, because Krill's blinded, but Krill is the geomancer, cute little geomancer. Uh, we will definitely go over that. Uh, equipment really doesn't matter. You got the, oh, we can put the, the dancing dirk on. Very nice. Uh, you could also have the monster bell. I think there was another bell that you could have had, uh, but I did not get it. It doesn't really matter because, just like Final Fantasy III, uh, Geomancer is a very nice uh, class to have. Huh. Okay, so we could go through there, but it doesn't look like there's anywhere else for us to go. I must have gone the wrong way or something. Do we have another new enemy here? We might be out of enemies on, the, on this part. No new enemies today. So back the way that we go. 
dead end. Uh, oh, Krill, uh, something. What? Krill, what's the matter? It's an illusion of X deaths. How do you know? That is a good question. How do you know? She can see through illusions, this guy, and she can like knock down X death when she catches him off guard. Grandpa, give me strength. Krill is more powerful than she lets on. She's freaking Gohan in this game. I swear to God. Oh, we're back with, uh, Kelga? Is it Kelga? Even Galif, Dragon, Ziza, Galif. They're all gone now. <coughs> I don't have long myself. Lord Kelga! It was Kelga. Nice, I remember. Apparently Kelga's not gonna make it either. Doesn't look good for Kelga. Once you cough in the game, that means you're gonna die. Finally going to take the big sleep. Oh, Gallop shows up! Gallop! <laughs> Why aren't you in my party? You were like Metal Gear Solid Snake. You were doing that all over the place. Who the? That you, Gallop? Krill and the others. Mm. Gallop, all he needs to do is nod, and then he's off. That's all you need to know. Gallop, I understand. Everyone, lend me your power! Lord Kelga! I'm going to destroy X-Death's illusion! With my last bit of strength, I'll get you all into X-Death's castle! How? He's using his last bit of strength. That justifies everything. And down goes Kelga. Lord Kelga! D down he goes. Down he goes. And there goes the last of the Dawn Warriors. All four of them have died now. Dragon, Ziza, Galif, and Kelga now. Grandpa and Werewolf! You mean Kelga? Yeah, he has a name. Jeez, don't just identify him by his race. Racist Krill, what the hell? Everyone's power! And through the power of friendship and hope and magic, we are able to creep me the hell out. And the game plays a victory fanfare for creeping me out. What the hell happened here? This place is disgusting. It's got fog. It's got, like, bones everywhere. All right, let's just move on. We're on the fourth floor here. Uh, Jeez, this place is creepy. Uh, I don't think there are any secret passages here. There are a lot of secret passages after this point, but I do believe there are new enemies now that we have uh, turned everything ugly. Uh, we are up against the magic dragon. This guy is a dick. Hopefully he'll let me show off Earth, which is the uh, Geomancer's ability here. Yeah. Basically, it works just like Final Fantasy 3, and this guy is weak to win. Very nice. Need to keep in mind that Ferris is not my healer. I might forget that from time to time. Damn! That must have been an air elemental attack, if I remember right. Air Lancet. That's right, it is air elemental. And we get 372 gil, uh, 300 experience, and 3 ability points for fighting one enemy. That was pretty damn easy. Uh, but the Earth Magic, it works just like Final Fantasy 3. It uses the your surroundings to cast a random uh, high-level magic. It is very nice. Let's hit this switch over here, and now we can get to this ice shield, which I may or may not equip. I think there's still more enemies for us to encounter. I could be wrong, though. Not here. 